What's up guys, it's Rainer from the USAF mod. This is an updated guide on the tanker module. Uh, this info will be current as of version 1061. Uh, in 106, we heavily overhauled the module, uh, but we wanted to wait until it was more feature complete before we uh, made a new guide. So let's jump right in. So I'm here on Tanoa, and uh, there's just a couple things we'll need to set things up here. Uh, first, I'm going to drop a uh, tanker. KC-135, and then I'm going to drop the tanker module. Then we'll want to sync up these objects so the tanker module knows that it's talking to this aircraft. And that should be it for the aircraft setup. Uh, we're going to go into the module now and take a look at the options. So I'm just going to go down the list here uh, and talk about each option and what you have. So our first option is start, and this indicates his starting location. Uh, when the module is initialized. Your options here are unchanged, which means he's going to stay wherever you place him on the map and then fly to the beginning of his pattern. Or the default option is in pattern, which means he'll be immediately teleported to the beginning of his pattern uh, when the module starts. Next option is pattern. Uh, we just have one option right now, but later on we'll add some uh, racetrack options, that kind of thing. Uh, you can either do circle map, which means he'll just fly around the size of the map, as you'll see in a moment, or you can leave it unchanged and set your own pattern. Uh, just make sure you set a cycle waypoint so he'll uh, continue to use that pattern. Next up is altitude. Uh, default is negative one, which means he's going to use whatever altitude you, you've placed him at in the editor. Uh, you can also set it to something like 8,000 meters or something more appropriate like a thousand whatever you like next option is airspeed uh, in kilometers an hour pretty self-explanatory uh, we use 380 here as a default um, it's a pretty good uh, middle ground between the slower a10 and the faster aircraft we have next option is invincible uh, this just sets whether he can take damage uh, if you'd like to use that as part of your scenario then we have the respawn option here um, if he's destroyed whether he'll be respawned or not and then the delay in seconds that you want to uh, want it to wait before respawning the new one. Next option is infinite playtime. This indicates how much uh, fuel he has for himself. Um, if he's just going to have infinite fuel and fly around forever, or if he will return to base once he gets low on fuel. This does not affect how much fuel he has to give to other aircraft. That's always infinite at the moment. Uh, it just determines his own fuel. And then finally, we have an option for map marker which will give you sort of a, a Blue Force Tracker mark on the map that says uh, his call sign and just lets you uh, find him on the map. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and accept these options and we can hop in game and take a look. All right, so we're in game and as you can see, uh, anytime a new tanker spawns, you're going to get a message at the bottom saying that he is on station. And if we come down to the bottom of the map, we'll see that Texaco 3-1 is uh, currently on station. And if we're to come into Zeus uh, and select the tanker, we can see that he has waypoints on each corner of the map, which are going to keep him out of the way. And the last waypoint will cycle back around to the beginning. So from Zeus, you can do a couple things. Uh, you can come out to the waypoints if you would like to and move them into whatever kind of pattern you'd like him to follow. And uh, because it's cycle, he's going to follow that waypoint's pattern. And then your other option from Zeus is you can actually delete this module, the tanker module. And when you do that, it will signal him to return to base and then delete him. There we go. So as for the fueling process itself, it's pretty simple. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is open your refueling hatch. Then you're going to want to approach the aircraft from behind and once you're within range you'll have an option in the scroll wheel menu for request refuel from whatever tanker. Once you hit that he's going to let you know you are cleared for approach and lower his boom. And as you approach you're going to have some lights on the bottom of the aircraft indicating your position. These are called the PDL or pilot director lights. Uh, essentially you want to get both sets of lights in the middle and green. Um, there's a lot of documentation about this for other sims like DCS or BMS, so I'd uh, highly recommend looking up some of those tutorials. But essentially one side is up and down and the other side is forward and back. So once you're in the middle of 
his envelope in the best spot. Both sides will be green. And once you hold it there for five seconds, you will connect to the tanker. And in the top right, you can see you have some information about the tanker, his airspeed distance from you, and his current bearing. Once you're connected, uh, if you need to disconnect for any reason before you're fully fueled, uh, you can scroll in the menu and close your refueling hatch, and that will cause the tanker to disconnect. And that's all there is to it. So that's really it. Uh, we hope that the new options in the tanker module uh, work well for you guys and uh, add to your enjoyment. Enjoy the module, and we'll see you around.